Gentlemen, please stand. Join Councilman Taylor in our pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join me in prayer. Remain standing. Well, Lord, Heavenly Father, on this day we ask for your guidance as we deliberate on things for our great city. Uh, give us uh, strength and perseverance, understanding. Give us active listening that we may better understand the problems in each other. Uh, oh Lord, we uh, ask for your guidance today and every day. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 We call to order our City Public Works Authority meeting of August 6th. Uh, do we have any public comments? No announcements? That was item number two. Item number three is the consent agenda items A and B. A is the approval of the minutes of our Public Works Authority meeting of July 16th, and B is the acknowledgement of resignation of Chuck Bircher, effective August 1st. So Senator, moved. Second. Entertain a motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Submit your votes. See the votes. You now have approval of the consent agenda. That being the last item on the agenda for the Public Works Authority meeting, it is adjourned. And I call to order our City Council meeting of August 6th. Our consent agenda is item A and B. A is the approval of a, a City Council meeting of July 16th. Uh, and B is the approval of our City uh, Council workshop also of July 16th. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, any discussion? Submit your votes. I'll vote three. See the votes. Unanimous approval of the consent agendas A and B. Item number three is the acknowledgement of resignation of uh, Council Member Chuck Bircher, effective August 1st, uh, and to declare that a vacancy exists. That's just an item four uh, uh, um, for the record. Um, I, item number four, given that we do have a uh, resignation, I would entertain a motion that we um, move in a process that we have, uh, have followed in the past on a resignation uh, with I'd a- I'd like uh, to, so okay. moved. Second. second. I have a motion and a second. Um, discussion. Where does this what? process fit into the charter rules? It's not in the charter, it's what we've done in the past. So we, even though the charter says we do it this way, we just- No, I don't think the charter says that we do it that way, I think- Oh, it doesn't? No. Uh, this is how we've done it uh, with our previous uh, resignation, and uh, we had a- we had a, I thought we, when it we said- had a, We had a nomination commi committee that we, then the nomination was then presented to the council. I thought it said if a vacancy occurs in the office of councilman, the city council shall select by an affirmative vote of at least four members, an eligible person to fill a vacancy at the next regular meeting of the council. Keep reading. Keep Follow reading. Following or the creation of the vacancy or as soon as thereafter is okay. practical. Okay, and this will be as soon as practical. No, practical is right now. Well, there's a motion and a second on the, uh, on the table. I think it was a little unfair how you just read out the, the agenda item and, and as, just assumed that we would make the motion. I think that was a little unfair on how you read that item because it doesn't read that way on the actual packet itself. Okay, so noted. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Submit your votes. See the, mo see the votes. Uh, by a vote of four to two, the uh, motion to follow the past practice of a nominating committee uh, and then a nomination uh, of uh, an individual to the city council uh, is passed. Uh, item number five, discussion of possible action to confirm mayor's nomination of Mike Sykes uh, to the at-large position of the CVB uh, effective September or through September 30th, uh, and then the subsequent appointment uh, to move for a three-year appointment from October of 2019 to September of 2022. So moved. I have a motion. Is there a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Submit your votes. Vote See the votes. Unanimous approval of Mr. Mike Sykes then to fill the uh, the CVB 
position and uh, continuation of a three-year term through September of 2022. Item number six, possible action to, uh, or discussion of possible action to reappoint Carrie Fryer uh, and uh, Jonathan McLinn uh, and to appoint Michelle Taylor uh, Ducam uh, to the Guthrie Housing Authority Board of Commissioners for three-year terms uh, through August of 2022. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. And a second. Second. A motion and a second. Discussion? Submit your votes. I'll See the motion. The uh, votes are unanimous to approve those three individuals to uh, onto the Guthrie Housing Authority through August of 2022. Uh, discussion, possible action to confirm the mayor's nomination to reappoint Tammy Halsey uh, to the public uh, or the Guthrie Parks Board two-year term through June of, uh, to June 1st of 2021. So moved. Have second. a motion and a second. Any discussion? Submit your votes. I'll vote See the votes. Unanimous approval then to uh, uh, reappoint uh, Tammy Halsey to the Parks uh, Board through uh, June of 2021. City manager, item number eight, city manager report. Um, I got two items, one uh, to follow up and provide some clarification maybe on a billing error uh, that was made back in 2014 uh, that was recently found. Uh, one, to make sure everybody understands that uh, consumption on four inch meters or above are designed with a multiplier. There's only so many zeros on a water meter just like your odometer on a car. So on the large meter it's designed, it, the first one is a point zero, so that you have enough zeros to read the large usage and then to get the amount used, you multiply it by a multiplier. And that's standard for the industry. They're designed that way all across the United States. And a four inch meter has a 10 multiplier. Uh, on April 3rd, uh, 2014, a new four inch meter was installed at the county jail uh, and it read correctly on June 15th and the July 15th bill, uh, but somewhere in there after that it got changed and um, it was incorrect, but it started out correct. So there was an error. Um, if you, and it was changed to a multiplier one, which would read 5,000 for each one instead of 50,000 for each one. Um, last 12 months of, of utilities, we went back 12 months, and this includes all utilities, um, including the SIR bill was 102,000, the difference between what should have been billed and what was billed. Uh, if you look over the last five years, of course, rates have increased over those five years, so the earlier years would probably be a slightly less. So the maximum of the error would have been 500,000, but it's probably more like 475 or 480. We didn't go back and collect them all. Um, and as, as we've talked about, Counties and municipalities each year publish a notice that if you have an outstanding bill against them, you only have so long to turn it in or you don't have to pay it. So we can't go back on a public entity more than their current budget year. You can't go back any prior budget years. Um, to provide some uh, uh, clarity or maybe some perspective. Yes, uh, a mistake was made, uh, but things uh, that should be taken into consideration. Um, the city has for a number of years worked with a skeleton crew uh, in all our departments, uh, uh, including utility and the city clerk office have multiple task or assignments. Every one of us at the city have multiple tasks. Uh, over the years, uh, staff's been reduced. The city clerk's office uh, 
has uh, over the years absorbed the payroll function and the accounts payable purchasing when those were reduced in staff. Um, in January of 14, uh, there was a 35% water rate increase and this era started in June. Well, with a 35% rate increase, there was no history to make it stand out. So if, if there had not been a rate increase and you were comparing 14 or, and 15, then it would have more likely stood out. But when you have a 35% increase that year, you don't have a year's history to compare back to. So that made it a little more difficult for it to stand out. Um, at that same time in 2014, we installed 4,000 smart meters. So it was pretty busy in the clerk's office at that time, install, working with the project, uh, uh, installing all those meters. And also on May 1st of that year, um, Wanda Calvert, retired and Kim was promoted to city clerk. So that all happened in that very short time period. Um, the, uh, to put it in perspective, um, other cities with larger staff have also experienced utility billing errors uh, because of human error. So not just city of Guthrie is unique to, uh, I just a couple of things on the website. In 2016, the city of Shreveport had a million dollars lost in water billing uh, from a human error. Uh, even the city of Edmond, which we all think is a, a pretty well-run city, uh, on a smaller scale, they had a $54,000 error over a three-month period that they learned through complaints from the citizens because in that case, they were overcharged. Um, so anyway, I just try to provide some perspective on that. <coughs> and then I have one other thing uh, that I want to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go up front to do this. <laughs> yeah. This is a very important time of the year for the municipalities in the city of Guthrie. Um, we're working on our 2020 budget. Uh, the budget's the most important policy document adopted annually by the city council. Uh, the budget sets forth how we use our operating budget for the next 12 months, uh, decides what capital improvements we're going to do. Uh, it's the time of the year we do our annual city council retreat, uh, which is scheduled for a Friday of this week. Uh, with that, we develop our goals and objectives uh, to be completed over the next 12 months. Clearly, diversity of opinion is a good thing. However, from that diversity of opinion, we, um, the city council has to work together to develop a budget and a strategic plan for staff to follow and implement. Without a unified uh, process of developing a budget and a strategic plan, then it kind of leaves the staff out in the wilderness trying to figure out what to do. Um, we cannot go multiple directions at the same time. If we try that, we'll keep returning to the starting point over and over without achieving our success. Uh, this is kind of symbolic. These are little paperweights that have our seal on them. Um, I'm not going to chunk them at y'all, but um, <laughs> I've got one of these for everybody. And what I ask is that you put this on your desk. And when you look at this, think one Guthrie, one plan, one team, team Guthrie. City staff looks forward to your all's leadership and guidance this Friday as we go through our retreat. Pretty cool. Thank you all.
Thank you, Leroy. That's a cool idea. I leave somebody out. And we got we have one 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 vacancy. One vacancy. <laughs> does that conclude your remarks? It does. Okay. All right. Item number uh, nine: uh, comments, uh, requests, members of city council. Um, Councilman Long. Uh, looking forward to the retreat uh, this Friday. Uh, I think it's unfortunate that uh, District 2 or Ward 2 won't be represented by two uh, council members uh, because uh, I feel like you uh, robbed us of that by the way that you read the agenda item and, and purposely going against the uh, charter even after the city manager sent us that as he sent us the applications. But um, looking forward to getting 2020 in line. Councilman Taylor. Uh, thank you, staff. Appreciate all y'all's hard work, every one of you. Uh, I know some of you are not sitting at the table tonight, but I appreciate what the staff's done. Uh, Red Brick Night was a success. I think we've got a couple of other things coming up, and uh, but uh, uh, I appreciate everything that you guys do, and thank you as well, Mayor. Councilman Thomas. Same thing. I, I'm looking forward to the retreat, and then I, I, I think we're going to make some good progress this year. Councilman Channel. James, you read my mind. I want to apologize to everybody in Ward 2. They're going to have half the representation due to the shenanigans that went on up here tonight. Are you through? Yeah. Okay, good. James? Jim? Um, I was just going to say, hey, it's hot out there. Be careful. Um, <laughs> uh, try to drink some water and, and, and take care of yourselves. It's, it's pretty nasty. Um, we mentioned Red Brick Nights, another, another huge success for the community. Appreciate everybody that was involved uh, with, uh, with making that happen. A <coughs> um, couple of things that uh, Jeff had mentioned, or didn't mention, but said that there are a couple of other things going on. We have the Flavors of the Frontier. Uh, that's, I think there's about 16 restaurants or so that are involved with that. It's a fundraiser uh, primarily for uh, God's Food Bank, uh, which is a, a significant um, enterprise uh, for those in need in our community and then uh, there's also a fundraiser for the for the Pollard uh, out at uh, out at Oak Tree uh, coming up I think in the next week or so so uh, that's that's um, those are those are important things uh, vacancies we've got uh, Board of Adjustments uh, still uh, vacancy uh, and uh, and forestry uh, and uh, a process that we follow in uh, in s uh, filling a vacancy uh, on a resignation uh, is that uh, a team, a nomination team is formed um, and uh, I chair it um, and the other members of the team are the vice chair or vice mayor, I mean, uh, and the other person from the ward, in this case Ward 2, uh, where the vacancy occurs. Uh, we interview the candidates, in this case we presently have three, possibly more, but there, at the present time there are three candidates. Uh, and uh, then we make a recommendation to the council uh, and by uh, a mandatory vote of, of four, um, the, or has, has, the person has to have, that nomination has to have four votes uh, in order to be um, uh, selected to fill that, uh, that vacancy. Uh, and uh, so that's, that's how we've done it in the past. I think it's very fair uh, and uh, it gives, every, gives all uh, the three, uh, present three nominees an opportunity to uh, go through an interview process and for the nomination committee to uh, then make its recommendation to the council. Um, with that, ladies and gentlemen, 